Okay, everybody, I'm I'm ready to go. I got everything cut out, and so we'll start. Um, I just had a comment and about my tucks and why I don't iron them first. As most of you know, I use the heat pins, so I can't iron first because it would take off my dots. Um, you know, there's no right way or wrong way everybody was taught different um this is how i was taught to do it so um with that let's just get started so you need pieces um one and two okay number one is the front and I'm going to be putting my safety pin in just so I know this is the front get a safety pin I'm just gonna put it put it on okay that way we know that's the the front side okay so with right sides together you're gonna pin your front and back together at the sides. Now, if you're using gauze, let the feet do the pushing and all. You just wanna guide this through. You don't wanna stretch it or anything. Just let it run through the machine. So pin up both sides. Oh, and another tip, when you get your patterns and you get a lot of paper, the tissue paper left, keep it because there's a few patterns that I've done that you need tissue paper for to do markings on the paper to put on the material. Um, I think one was the V-neck. So, um, I just saved my paper. It has no writing on it or anything. And I just keep it so I can use it. Okay, this is a 5 8 seam allowance. I couldn't really find thread to match this. It's, it's an odd shade I don't I just don't know but um I'm kind of using like an off white it was the best I could do okay so once you have this all pinned on the sides sew down the five eighths So just let the feet do the work. I'm just guiding it to keep it at the five eighths. But I'm letting the feet move it. Okay, and with the gauze after um, before I hem it, I will trim a little and then I will use my M foot, which is for my Janome and it's an overcast foot. So it'll make it look like it's surged. Okay, grab number four. This is your sleeve.
in. I've already put a safety pin in this right here. This is the front side of the material. Sometimes you can get confused with gauze. And then I'll put one on here. So you're gonna sew up these side seams on the sleeve, five eighths. And the exact same thing, just let the material in your feet work. So just pin these up. And don't stretch your material. Just kind of let it fall where it's gonna fall. Okay, so the side seam, five eighths. Okay, and do the same thing for this sleeve. I put my safety pin in. And you'll probably hear my bird. He's starting off tonight, so this is his time. So sew this five eighths down here. Okay, now get number five. This is your elastic guide and this is for the sleeve. Now this is an inch elastic. And you need two pieces. I hope this isn't going to be big on her arm, but she's not here. So I'm just going to go by what they're doing. Pieces. Just measure, be sure that they're the same. Yep. Okay. Okay, grab your sleeve and come to your ironing board. And on this raw edge, you're going to turn up a quarter inch. So just open up your seam. you're using the gauze don't keep the iron on it too long you don't want it to stretch so just do a quarter inch seam okay there's a quarter inch and do this all around And then we'll come back and turn this up. So just keep going around your sleeve. And you just got 
got to be careful with the gauze. Okay, because we're using elastic to come through, I'm just taking a little, little of my stitch witchery and I'm going to put it down so when I turn this over my pin won't be trying to go through this seam. I want a little bit bigger piece. So on both sides of the seam just put it down be sure that it's in there because this will leave a residue on your iron if it's sticking out. and then just put back your quarter inch <clears throat> turn. Okay, there is a fold line of an inch, but I'm going to go one and a quarter because I want to be sure that that elastic isn't going to um, pucker. I want to have it just a little room for it. So just go and turn under a quarter inch. I mean, uh, one and a quarter. and then you can pin it in place. And you have to do this to both sleeves. So get that done. Pins ready to go in the trash. And then we'll just sew close to here, leaving an opening to get our elastic through. Alrighty, I'm going to go get a fresh cup of coffee and um, check on my bird and stuff. Um, just get those sleeves done and I'll be right back. Okay, and before you sew your sleeves up, just measure them to be sure that they're the same length. My bird's going off. He's whistling. Uh, I think it's the Wizard of Oz, if you had a brain. <laughs> Just be sure you measure these. Be sure that they're the right length. And I'm gonna, after I get this done, I'm just going to do my seam on the side um, with my M foot. So, alrighty. Get this done. Okay, before you sew, I usually double pin right here, and that's where my elastic's going through. Then you want to measure your shirt or your sleeves and be sure that they're even. And then you're gonna sew 
at this edge from this part double pin go all the way around and stop at this double pin and then we'll put the elastic through Okay, I'm gonna finish this up in the morning. I gotta get my bird to bed. And um, so I'll just pick this up tomorrow. I won't make a part two. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern. So um, if you would please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, comment, and um, then I will see you tomorrow morning. You all have a good night. Okay, afternoon everybody. Um, we left off at pinning the sleeves. So I have my knob pinned. Don't forget to leave the spot for your elastic to go through. Also on the top, and I was taught this years and years ago, um, you always put a safety pin where the shoulder's gonna go, the shoulder where the seam is, and that way you know that your sleeve is even. I gotta pull something on that, okay. So we're gonna sew this real close to this fold line. So just start at your two pins, place your needle down, and then sew this up. Now, like I said, if you're using gauze, just let the feet do the work. Okay, now we're going to put our elastic through. I had to take my pin out, but I know this is the front now. So you just take your safety pin and push this through. I gotta get it started here. So get this all through and I'll be back to show you how to end it. Okay, when you got this almost through, put a safety pin over here and just kind of hook it on. That way it won't start going through and then it just stop it. Okay, and then just keep Pushing through. Till you get this all the way to the end. Okay, so when you get to the end, you're going to overlap your elastic. <clears throat> like this. and then measure how much you've overlapped so you know for your next sleeve. So I wanna do like a inch overlap. So it's right there. And pin it. After you pin it, just check it again. Be sure it didn't move. Okay. I'm sorry. You're going to hear my birds. <laughs> okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to sew down this band. Catch this and sew down this side. And then sew down in the middle. 
and it'll look like you have an H. Just be sure that you have your elastic so it's not twisted where you're um, sewing it. Just be sure this is all straight. Let me be sure I didn't move when I just did that. Okay, so I put my work in front of me. And I hook my elastic kind of behind the shank of my foot. Take my pin out. And I go forwards and backwards a couple times. Okay, then I move to this spot. And do the exact same thing back and forth a couple times. And turn it and go down that H. Get it right in the middle. Okay, then just work your elastic through that little hole. Sometimes you have to help it. You gotta kind of push it in there. Move your Oops, move your elastic around. And then come back and sew up your hole that you left for the elastic. And be sure you stretch this out when you're sewing. So you get the right hem on it. Okay, let me get my other one done. And then we'll continue. Okay, and then just get this even. I just go around a few times. Okay, so there's your sleeve. Okay, this is a short sleeve. It's going to be big on me. I got small arms. Okay, so. But it'll look like this. Now, this is an extra large size but it it'll work okay let me get my other one done and then we'll sew on the sleeves okay now get your shirt And with right sides together, you're going to sew your sleeve on. Now, be sure you have the right sleeve. I think this is the next thing. Okay. So you'll have a single and a double notch. So you want to be sure the sleeve has the single and the double notch. So do your four points first. So here's my single notch. And 
and then do your seams. Be sure they're opened. Get those even. And pin your seams down. Then go to your double notch, which is right here. And then go up to your shoulder seam. Okay, we're just going around. Our neckline goes that, so just leave that there. That'll be our neckline part. Okay, pin this all. I think the neck is gathered too. And then you're gonna sew this five eighths. Come back around right sides together. Okay, get this all pinned up. And then once you have this done, go back and from notch to notch, go down the same seam line and that just reinforces the armpit okay and then see our neckline will be gathered okay let me get this sewn up five eighths Okay, then come back if you have pinking shears from notch to notch, you can just trim some of the fabric. Don't get your shirt, but I just go about halfway the width of my scissors. and then you'll have a really nice edge. Okay, let me put my other sleeve on. And then after this, we'll gather the neckline all the way around. I have to get my butcher twine out after I get this done. I know I don't have anything this long to go all around this neck and arm. And if you don't have butcher twine, you can use crochet, I mean not yarn. Um, you can use needlepoint thread. really anything just to zigzag over. All right, let me get this done. Okay, get your butcher twine or whatever you're using. You're gonna set your sewing machine to zigzag. I have to go to the grocery store and get some more. And start in the back. This is the back. 
and I usually make my stitch length pretty big. I usually go 3.5, 3.6. And I'm just going to go three eighths. Um, around. Let me get this thread out of the way so I can get the camera. So if you haven't seen me do this before, just put your thread or your butcher twine and you want it right in the middle of this slot in your foot. And then put your foot down. And you don't have to hold it up way high, but hold it up a little so you keep that twine in that slot of your foot. You don't want to catch it. And then just keep going around and I'll be back. Make sure you have your seams opened up. And then just keep going around. Then I'll probably run over and see if my neighbor is home because she's about the same size. And um, at least I can kind of get it right. Don't go over the pin, just take it out. That's your middle. I'm gonna just put a pin right there just so I know, and then I'll put it back in. So once I get by it, I'll put the pin back in. Okay, and just keep going around. Okay, everybody, I'm back. We had a really bad storm. We lost um, electrical um, for about an hour. So I'm back to finish this up and my neighbor wasn't home. So I'm just going to do this um, as evenly as I can around the neck to be sure it looks okay. All right, so get your neck band and with right sides facing each other, you're going to sew a 5 8 oops, you're going to sew a 5 8 seam allowance to hook these two together. I did put a pin in here and this is my right side of my material. So I have my safety pin in. Okay, just open up your seam to start with. And on your unnotched side, you're gonna turn down a half inch all the way around. So get a small ruler and start measuring a half inch and press this down okay then take your neck band and you want the notched end on the inside because after we sew this, we're turning this down and sewing close to this fold. So do your four points and you have marks. Now this is my center front. 
the dot is going to be your um, top of your shoulder. So like I said, I'm just gonna gather this, um, hopefully to make it look okay for her. I'm gonna have to play around with it. And um, because I just, I really don't know her neck size, so but get your front and then your back seam. Okay, hold on, let me get my back here. Okay, in the back center. So right here is my back center. Where did I put that? Right here. center back. All right. And then there's some notches that you're going to match in dots. So if you get the center back, the center front, and then just start looking for your notches. And like I said, you're going to have to play with your gathering to get where you need to be. I'm just looking for my notch. So just keep, you know, gathering till you get to that point. And just keep pinning around. Try to make it as even as you can. I'm stuck right there a little. So just keep going around, pinning it till you get it all nice and flat on the inside part on here. And your ruffling or your gatherings right here on the outside. So just keep working at it. And I'll be back. Okay, once you have this pinned, you need to baste it. And be sure that you get everything even. Your top is even, those edges. So let me find some thread. And then just go around and baste it. And basting is just one strand of thread. So I'll get that basted. Then you're gonna sew it up five eighths seam allowance. And then you're going to bring down everything to about a quarter of an inch. So you don't have that bulkiness. Oh, I got it on my first try. So get that basted and then we'll start sewing. But sure, be sure when you're basting that everything is even on the top, your edges. Okay, also basting this um, lets you play around with your gathering a little. So if you have a little bit of bunching um, someplace, you can you know, spread it out and fix it. I have two pieces of 
gathering because my string broke right here. But just keep basting around. Okay, once you have it basted, okay, once you have it basted, you're going to sew it five eighths all the way around. Be sure everything is flat. You don't want any kind of buckling like down here. Sometimes I've got to put my hand in there and pull that little neck thing down and just get it just right. So let me come over here. This is down five eighths. Okay, and then just keep going around and then we'll take out our basting thread and trim it. Okay, once you have that done, you can pull out your basting thread and your gathering thread. Okay, and then check and be sure you have everything sewn. That looks good. Okay, now you're going to trim. I'll get my scissors. I think I want to use regular scissors. Okay, and then you're going to trim this. And you want to get it to about a quarter inch. So just don't catch your shirt. It's real easy to do. And kind of like where your zigzag is from your gathering, kind of go along that line. Okay, let me get this done. Okay, now you're going to fold this down and pin it. Just kind of get that nice and even looking. And if you have to go back and iron your half inch, go ahead. But just kind of fold this in half. You want to be sure it's covering up that seam that you just sewed. And then once you get that done, you're gonna just hem it up. You can press this too before you sew it just to be sure everything is flat and laying right. All right, let me get this pinned up. Okay, so once you get that pinned up, go as close as you can to this fold line. Now just go slow because you want to be sure that that stitch that we did is covered and the gatherings covered. Um, I'm going to finish this up. You don't need to see me do that. The hem is a narrow hem, which is a quarter inch all the way around. You turn it again a quartar of an inch and then just sew right near the fold. Um, this was an extra large, um, so I'm not going to try it on because it, it's just too big for me, so I can't really model it. So, um, but anyways, tomorrow I'm going to be doing this one out of that 
white material I got. I have to cut this one out tonight. Um, so that was M8256 McCall's, and I did the B. So that'll be it. You all have a great July 4th. Um, fireworks are going off now. The night before, the dogs are going crazy. and um, But you all have a great 4th. Pray for our country. Um, please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, um, comment. And um, I'll get this stuff cut out and I'll try to do it tomorrow if not it'll be the next day i don't know what we're doing for july 4th yet so um but you all have a good night and i will see you soon